Okay, so the last video was about something I love and gushed over. Now I have to return to being annoyed. I'm very upset. Like, I wouldn't say I'm angry, but this is just an annoyance. So listen, we all understand how annoying art theft is, right? But what if it was to a scale where your art was being used in those clickbaity, shitty YouTube kids-esque type videos? You know, the type of videos that are usually pushing sexual shit onto children and that YouTube does nothing about? Yeah, that type of thing. Anywho, let's move on to the actual meat of the video where I start ranting like a madman. So I was just minding my own business one day, probably playing video games, when I noticed that I got a DM from Instagram. Listen, I'm an introvert. I don't like getting messages from strangers. Most of the time, I don't even look at them. I just ignore it. However, just from the notification preview, I could tell that this was something I had to look into. This user was informing me about someone who was apparently using my art without permission. Okay, upon seeing this, I had to double check because I just wanted to make sure I was seeing that right. Despite how obvious that it was traced, I was in denial, so I decided to track down the original video and uh, yeah, it's traced. Also, in case for some reason you don't believe me, here's the two images laid on top of each other. Also, this video was posted on May 19th and my art was posted to Instagram and Twitter on April 14th. You got that? Good. Anyways, oh my god. So at this point, I wasn't very annoyed, I was just kind of surprised that this happened. And maybe you're rolling your eyes at me thinking that I'm overreacting a bit. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to you and you will soon see that I'm not. So upon first seeing this, I did what most YouTubers do when they are annoyed at something or somebody. I complain on Twitter. As expected, many people agreed that this was frustrating. My favorite comment was something about how this bitch of a channel is out here tracing art and being verified of all things. The goddamn audacity of this person. Holy shit. Moving on, something that a lot of people said is that I should strike down the videos. And honestly, I could. After all, they were stealing my art. So I went ahead and did just that. I struck the videos and at the time, all I had to do was wait. It took a little bit because, believe it or not, YouTube is not very responsive to their own creators. Now I will say, I wasn't really expecting the dude to try to contact me, but he did. He first sent me an email introducing himself as the owner of the channel and asking where they violated my rights. So mind you, they have no idea what they did wrong, despite the fact that the strike notification in this case would have been because of a piece of artwork. So, like a child, I basically responded saying the usual, you stole and traced my artwork, that's not allowed, blah blah blah. Even though I explained the situation pretty goddamn thoroughly, they didn't really understand, and in my opinion, their words were a bit slimy in some of these emails. However, I'm also guessing that his first initial language isn't English, so whatever. Anyways, the first interesting thing that I noticed in this part is where they mentioned that they ordered the art from an artist. After a few more emails, I got a more definite answer. Turns out that he ordered all of his stills from a random freelancer on a Russian website. He also gave me the name and the exact order number if I ever wanted to contact the seller. And in case you're wondering, no, I didn't do that. Maybe I would've, but the website is foreign to me. And in order to contact somebody, you have to have an account. Personally, I'm not very comfortable with that. Also, I can't even be too sure if this is true because the person has nothing in their portfolio. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that super helpful information. Anyways, moving on, he understood that he has to take full responsibility for the situation and offers to give me credit. Yeah, you heard that right. This person just admitted to me that they paid someone else to trace my art and then offered me, the original artist and owner, credit. Now, uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's a pretty shitty deal if you ask me. So, of course, I rejected their oh-so-generous offer. After some more exchange, we finally settled on something. He would edit all the videos that uses that one piece of art and take it out. I did check, 
and they held their word. Personally, I would have been glad if it just ended there, but as you can see from this video's runtime, it didn't. After that debacle, I went off to see if my art was being used in other videos of the same variety, and yeah, there absolutely is. So I went ahead and did what I did last time. I struck those videos. So considering what happened recently, I was prepared to receive another email. However, I wasn't expecting another email from the same person that I was just talking to. He messaged me again, asking why I struck the videos on their second channel. What? Excuse me? Okay, this was the moment that I was switching from being just annoyed to angry. So not only did this person use stolen art, not only did they allegedly pay a thief for said art, not only did they just offer me credit, but now it turns out that he's running two channels, both monetized and both probably making bank based off of the view count. And honestly, for all I know, they could be running more than two channels because this type of content spreads like lice. So let's get into the emails a bit, shall we? So he emails me about the second account and says that he doesn't want the videos removed since I'll be affecting his view count and I mean, fair, except remember when he said at the beginning that he'd be taking responsibility for what happened? Well, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, I think this is just a consequence of all that shitty stuff that I mentioned earlier. And now, it's even more deserved because it turns out that you're running a second channel and doing the same thing. See, unlike the last videos I struck, YouTube actually did what they were asked of and took the videos down. He really, really pleaded with me about how taking down those two videos would ruin his channel and that all cause him great suffering. To be completely honest with you, I don't really care. It's just that everything in this situation so far has been frustrating. I mean, I did tell him at one point in the exchange that I thought he was a complete piece of shit for all the things he was doing, and you might say that that's a bit mean, but in my personal opinion, it is completely well deserved. And no, I don't care if you buy the whole I bought it off of another artist story for the stills, it's still shitty. Especially upon the original artist telling you that the art is stolen and all you offer them is measly credit. Now let me be clear, this sort of thing is not new by any means. Videos like these pretty much always have stolen content. Watching the other videos, you can see how all the stills they use are just shittily traced. It's honestly upsetting how videos like these are still allowed on YouTube pushing inappropriate content towards children. And I won't get too deep into the topic right now since that's a whole other video on its own. I am aware that it is unrealistic to expect this type of content and art theft to just stop. However, as far as art theft goes, remember you can always do something about it. Your hard work is worth protecting. Anyways, um, this has been an annoying experience. I never really would have thought that my art would be used in such a way, so it's definitely also a first. Here's to hoping that it never happens again. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be seeing you later, gamers.